It's been more than a month since the battle started to retake the town of Baguz. From gun positions high above what remains of the Caliphate, US-backed Kurdish and Arab militias known as the Syrian Democratic Forces or SDF have been raining down fire on ISIS. But in the battle to end the Islamic State, this last portion is proving the hardest. These guys are trying to take out the fighters with 50 caliber machine guns. They've actually had to stop the heavy artillery bombardment because SDF soldiers are now getting so close. But the final victory is now in sight. The fact they've held out so long has surprised everyone. Adnan Afrin is an SDF commander. He's been fighting the Islamic State for more than five years. Do you feel like this is the moment that, that it's going to be all over? Afrin is confident his forces are on the verge of history. What do you know about who's still inside and what kind of preparations they've made for this last stand? The SDF says that in the past few days they've managed to push ISIS out of most of Baguz into a tiny piece of land by the Iraqi border. Because you can hear the sniper rounds whistling past. There's a lot of there's a lot of gunfire still. ISIS is very close to this position. There's fighters in there. Yeah. Still? They have a flag on top of the building. And they have weapons? Yes, they have a lot of weapons. So they're hitting you with missiles too? Yeah. Even now, there's still yeah. fighters. Yeah. So there's a lot of incoming fire, so these guys are using RPGs to try to push the ISIS fighters further back. As we're hurried out of Sniper Alley, we pass the area where ISIS women and children were recently living and find remnants of what they left behind. What's this? This is the Daesh. This is the Flus Daesh. How much? 25 Lira. Flus, 25 Flus. In a rare view from the air, you get a sense of why this battle has taken so long. Even in recent days, the fighters apparently still had fuel, and the SDF had to try and avoid women and children still inside. This ISIS video shows the intensity of the fight from inside. This week, they've recaptured most of these streets. 
The SDF has had to move cautiously. 60,000 people have streamed out during the siege so far. By night, the sky over Baguz is lit up by explosions. What do you the SDF, along with US forces, have been stepping up the bombardment. What do you think it's like to be inside right now? It's hard to believe anything could withstand this. But for right now, ISIS is still clinging on to this very last corner of the caliphate.